Okay, it's a quick little uh, video today just on how to connect a Chenik Hall effect uh, pedal to the controller uh, to the control board. So um, this particular pedal uh, has got a approximately 35 degrees of travel. I think it's either 30 or 35. It's quite a quite a solid feel to it. Uh, despite being only $65 from Chenik. I hear that little click in there. There is a a micro switch in there. It's a type LXDQ and it outputs uh, 0.8 volts um, at, at zero and 4.2 at full throttle. So you've got a five core uh, cable here and just go through the color code here if I can. Uh, the red here is a plus five. The the green is the actual uh, signal output and black is ground. Now there's two other cables here and you can see there's um, so I think it's a blue and a hello and that's just a normally open uh, switch that when the pedal is pushed you should hear a click that's that switch so that's closed now and then when I put the throttle back to zero it's open I think so to get this uh, to get the control board to accept the signal uh, the first thing that you have to do is to annoy Paul to get the software changed for you so I have successfully completed that task and then we need to do two small hardware changes to the control board and the first of those you hopefully see in here is to take out R10 so we see we just pulled that out and to replace uh, let me try and get this damn camera in here R8 with just a wire bridge so you just take that out and put a bridge across it and you then connect onto your terminal block here um, you need to put the red on this the first pin here that's closest to the uh, that's closest to this transistor put the green signal cable then into the second and then put the red, or sorry, the black ground in here. It just has to share the uh, system ground here. That's just a, the uh, 12 volt ground goes on to that pin. And that's it, as simple as. So I'll try and uh, just try and hopefully show the RTD data from this thing. This hammer isn't exactly being friendly these days. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. I'll be able to just give it some throttle. Hopefully you're able to see there that again there is the throttle signal in red. You can see we're getting a nice steady progression as I push the pedal here. So we can vary the throttle around a fixed point or change it around. So that's it. That's how you connect the all effect pedal to the control board. That's it for now.